So it's got the um, other VIN? The, um, the X VIN? Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, you got the code on the, from the back of it too? The, um, I don't know, they're usually in the, um, the RPO codes and stuff? Yeah, they're usually in the back on they that did. thing. That car has no RPO codes on it. You run a PHS on it? I've called, I've called Lansing, Michigan, I've got all the paperwork on it. They said that that car is supposed to be plain Jane bone stock with a 305 TPI in it. It has 350 numbers matching. It has T-tops. It has cruise control, leather seats. Yeah, leather something weird, available huh? Available in that car. Yeah, definitely something weird. No, I ain't got nothing. I sold the one I had, and I thought I still had one. Let me... No, that's Dodge. No, I ain't got nothing, man. Sorry. Where are you, Where are you from? Missoula or... We got Idaho plates. Idaho. Salmon? Salmon. Yeah, good luck on it. When you get ready to sell it, go to eBay. I got it quoted at 78000 Well, good luck on your radiator. Yep. eBay's where to get that, man. You know, uh, there's a couple of guys down there at B-Vans and whatever else. What do you got for rims out here, by the way? Not much. Um... I have no, one no. of the three, or of the four, is all original rims on it, and that's the ones that have the, the 15, no slot at the bottom. 15.7, the gold honeycomb looking ones? Mm -hmm, but so, the, the, on the bottom, right about, you know, where the rim comes out, there's a notch right here. Yeah. And if there's no notch, that's the original ones. I can't even find one. I got a 89 M. Selling really cheap. Well, I got six of them. I got a 92. They made a 226 of. But ah, good luck, man, on the radiator. Got the, I'd like to look at them. You got them here? No, I don't got them here. They're, they're in San Diego. Oh, are they? Yeah. But that's all I got. And no radiators, but good luck, man. All right, well, I'll Have fun it, with it. I'm putting it in the, the Sam River car show up there. Huh? Cool. And going to sell it. So I don't know if you know anybody who's interested. Like I say, man, eBay is a place to go on that. I can sell stuff like that all day long, but it all goes overseas. What's up with this 6.6? 6? Well, I'll take 5,800. It's the 10th anniversary. Have fun, ma'am. Uh, sort of. Uh, needs a starter. It, the starter bolt's broke. Got time to walk around and help people kick tires. See, I don't even know what to do with that. I don't want to sell it. My popo light. How am I going to be a popo if I don't got a light? Wow. Have it, Eve. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, there's a car in here. Well, I've definitely got some stuff in here boxes from my stereo shop. This is a riot. Mr. McBurney helped me make this full on fiberglass. Awesome little car. It's all fresh. It's just been sitting in here. It's got Porsche paint on it. The kind with the parrot. Glaceron? Glass? I don't remember. Yes, siri. If there is anything that you're <laughs> looking for as far as a company that makes um, fiberglass. I got a pallet over here. I got a pallet out there. You've seen a 55 gallon drum in there. There's a bunch of fiberglass. Got everything it takes to do it to it. But I'm not going to be making that car anytime soon. You can go to my website, NathanRadislaw.com. And on there, um, you can see pictures of the riot along the left-hand side of the site. There'll be a link. It'll say riot car. 
I remember if that's my 400 small block. No, that's my uh, that's my 400 uh, Pontiac motor, 403. That's a 403. Hang on now. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. That's either a 403 Olds or a 400 Pontiac, and that's either, I think that's a 400 Pontiac. Could be a 403 Olds, though. I think it's a 400. I don't even know, man. These heads are for a 403, I know that. I got lots of stuff. I got a cannon. How about that? You probably can't see. This glass video ain't all that light in here, I don't think. Well, just checking this stuff out, and this is what I'm dealing with and trying to clean up. Shocks for God knows what. More epoxy for fiberglass and all that. I definitely got the tools of the trade. I definitely ain't been everywhere yet in here. So I'm definitely taking this seat next door. I can't believe somebody would stack a crappy ass water fountain on my car. It makes me so angry that just the sheer stupidity that it takes to do stuff like that. I've fired people before for setting things on my car. First day, just said, dude, go home. It was the second time. About the fifth problem. I said, just dude, just go home. This thing gonna work out. Here, here's 40 bucks. <laughs> okay. Parts wash bin. Yes, sir. -y. I need to get the shop going again. I got tools, and this is just not even the stuff that's put up. It's crazy. And you know what? I got everything here that I need in San Diego, and everything in San Diego that I need here. Just kind of the way it seems to go. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. I forgot about this. Nice Momo wheel. I don't remember what I was. Oh, I was going to put that in my Chevelle. This is big money, too. Brand new, never installed, baby. Well, that's that. Wasn't as bad in here as I thought or expected after seeing next door. I don't know if you can hear me in the different way I put my voice on this. Boom, that's black. That's what she said. It's neat to do for a glass test for me. Oh, I need that. Where are them? Hmm. Do you know what's in this box? Uh, I think it's a Said what? Condoms. Come on, who would have that many condoms? I don't know. Did she say that you knew somebody that needed something like this and she didn't know what to tell you? I was looking for one of the, I don't even know. A deck? Yeah, a deck with a USB port in it. With a USB port. And I told her, I'm pretty don't slim on them. I'm going to be pretty slim on something with a USB port, I think. She's wanting to do the um, iPod through it? Yeah. I probably have something with the cables that come out where you have to have a port for it, but no, I don't think I have that. Well, that sucks. If she gets to where she wants, um, um, come on now, Nathan, any kind of, uh, subs or amps. I definitely got some of that. Yeah, I, I told her about that too. I definitely got some of that. Look at that. I bought all these at Swap Meet. Two post, baby. Two post. Well, yeah, Box City.
Like if you have a little amp, these are like the single biggest upgraded guy. These are freaking awesome. Wow. Sure, I did. I used to sell wheels and tires up here, too. They have a place called Les Schwab. And my ad was don't get swabbed. And they actually banned that from the auto finder up here. Hopefully you can see some of these trucks I used to have. That was a cool Jimmy. I don't know how clear this here. You can hear the beagle. I don't know how old the big old box man. We'll see. And why am I taking the time to do this? I really am testing out these glass. Um, they did, oh yeah, I printed two up. They did overheat on me a little bit. <clears throat> I am, I think what you'd call an extreme user, for sure. And that could cause part of it. But I feel like there's a couple little issues with it. it might not be. Um, all that big condoms, 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 it's all condoms. Shoot, that laser printer was so much more money than, I mean, in the day, I think I paid, I think I paid $4,000 for that thing, man. And it's freaking huge, it weighs like 60 pounds. Okay, well, that is the yield walk around. Getting this stuff all cleaned up, taken care of. And look at that Mercedes grill. <whistles> a 71 280 SE. That's a nice car. What did I part out there? I parted one of them out, huh? Huh. I guess. I believe that. Nail outs! Going to one of the yogurt shops. I do a lot of marshmallows to yogurt shops. Well, thanks for watching. I love my cop light. I think it's cool. Cars, cars, cars. And I'm going back in to get some cleanup done. Actually, while I've got this here Google Glass on, I'm going to go ahead and show some, what would you call it? Show some um, progress over here. Those dogs are so happy when you go out there. They get the breakfast in the morning in the water, and then a little while later, they get a little bit of a run. I don't know if you can see them out there all talking to her. And they've got their own pecking order of how they eat and which bowl it's from. It's so cute. They're just kind of part of the fam. A little bit of trash, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, what do we got going here? Check this out. Took a couple hours last night and got in here and I just can't handle things being unorganized. And things around here have been unorganized and messed up for so long that it's just the norm. New people start and people think, oh, it's just going to keep being messed up. No, it ain't going to keep being messed up. Stuff's going to get cleaned up, put away, moved. I mean, this is a business. We're here to do stuff. So, all this moved around. I got this here um, kit for like a show, trade show. I'm going to set it up here to have like a blue screen. Blue screen? 
not a green screen. It's going to be a blue screen. I've got this room cleaned up a lot. Biggest thing is it's all organized. All my rubbers are... <laughs> I got rubbers over there, rubbers over here. I got everything organized correctly here. Lots of parts in there that I won't be listing for a while. Dashes and stuff out here that I will be listing really quickly. Boom, all nicely organized. And stuff I'm not really going to list here. Stuff that is listed here. And more of that's over in the back. la di da 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 Look at this. A medical first aid kit from World War II. Pretty cool. It's got all the old, well, I might as well take a second here because it is that cool. And it just is that cool. You <clears throat> gotta be a beast. You can drop this thing off a pier for about a year. Look at this. It's got all this old stuff in it. I don't think I'd want to take none of it. I think some of it's amphetamine or something. <laughs> Phenobarbital? Is that what that says? I don't know, man. Swap meat deal sold from the... There's some stuff in here. Tourniquet. Pseudoadexine? Wait. Sulfa... I can't read that crap. But that's what it is. And it is pretty stinking old. I don't think I'd trust any of it. But it is a cool, almost complete kit. I don't even care to sell this. I just like it. Um, I wanted to show you this. This is cool. <laughs> this is my first electrical handbook that I bought back in the day to troubleshoot stuff. But this is my Garth Brooks shirt from back in the day with the 13 star on it. Now, come on. When I was a kid... We didn't know you had to be racist if you had a 13-star flag. We just thought you was a rebel and you were, you know, had a mullet and you were cool and you were just a country boy. There wasn't nothing racist about it when I was in this. I mean, it was there was people that are, but, I mean, it's not a prerequisite. My God. Okay, this is some cool stuff. Look at this brochure. Number one, there's the 190 limited edition brochure. That got a little messed up, but... Still is pretty cool. And there's this one. This one is super old. I don't even know what year. But there's the models. See, uh, this is a cool test. 79. Now I know what year. Some awesome pictures in here. Look at that. <whistles> Look at that. Love them MB Tech's interiors. I like a CD too. You know what? I just realized that just like records, and like, oh wow, that's cool. In like 10 years, kids are going to be like, what's a CD? Hell, it might not even take that many years. I bet you it's like that now. Wedding? Well, I don't know what that movie was. Something about Las Vegas. Hey, I think this goes like that. It does. Huh? Cool. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. Check this out. I don't know if you remember back in the day when you had comic books. Did you have comic books? I did. Olympic Sales Club. You remember that? You got all these prizes and stuff. They sold greeting cards and such, most likely. That was the most um, Christmas gifts and cards like that. Fun Factory. This is the one you ordered stuff from. But there was a couple of sales leadership club. This one too. And then usually in the middle somewhere of them, if they weren't in the front, you could, <laughs> you could sell grit. So one owner car guy sold them all. And I actually got about everything, <laughs> everything on this thing. And I got little awards and all kinds of stuff. I sold the hell out of greeting cards and Christmas cards and stuff. Do you remember that you could get a knife? I found my knife. From it. It's actually a cool knife. It's a original Bowie. And it's actually German steel. Pretty old. And just, you ain't gonna get that nowadays for selling something. In fact, they don't even get kids to sell stuff anymore. I would be just 
I am glad I came up when I did for some things. You think about the internet and everything nowadays, and that's really cool, but at the same time, we had a lot when we were kids. We were little liars. Look at the side there. I like it. Different. Pretty old. Same with this one. Just odd looking, huh? Okay, that's the walk around. That's the mess and where it is now. You'll see some interesting video coming up. I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to introduce you to the girls that are going to be doing a lot of the work and stuff around here and keeping the daily days running. Um, we got some organization on our little thing going on there. You hear them dogs going off, man. It's a little breakfast time. Well, thanks for watching. More stuff happening. This place is going to get torn up again. And it's going to look good when I'm done. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, StockGambles.com. Again, the kind of content that I usually put up is not this kind of content. But I've got issues with what I do. My business needs maintenance, I guess you would say. My business needs to have things done that have been not done because of whatever. Um, so I am where I am. I'm moving right along and getting stuff cleaned up. That's all there is to it. Yeah, buddy. Brought that back for my ex-wife's kid from Amsterdam. Well, like I said, oh, 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 check this out. When you are backing... No, see, you had to go mess it up. When you're backing into something, you got to remember to put your mirrors in to where it'll go right in, you know? Jeez. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And yes, this is the coolest, possibly the coolest Lego kit in existence. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The coolest in existence. Do I believe that? I don't know. I believe it's pretty damn cool. Put it to you that way. Look at that. I think I might have showed this yesterday. Thanks for watching. Have <laughs> a little cloth thing in there. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. StockGambles.com.